beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel is your girl bami i bami just in case you're new to this channel or you've been watching me for a while and you're not subscribed please kindly click on the subscribe button below turn on the bell so you can get a notification whenever i do post which is every friday at 6 pm so today i'm going to be showing you how i cook my assorted ferrero i hope you enjoy this video so you will need three scotch bonnet one teaspoon of food ahensa one tablespoon of maggi a pinch of salt and i prefer the pink salt one tablespoon of iru aka locust beans one cup of palm oil two red peppers and of course you need your spinach so before I start cooking, the first step I like to do is I like to cleanse every single spinach because I am not trying to eat my food and be feeling some sand. It's not a good feeling and it's not a cute feeling. In the past, I've gotten some spinach and there's quite a lot of sand. So I've learned from there to always do this process so that it avoids me or my clients, especially when I cook for clients. He avoids my client from eating the F1 and be feeling sand inside it. That's very, very disgraceful. So I basically rinse every single spinach and I follow this step to I'm basically true with it. It's a long process, but trust me, it's worth it. So I now cut my effort so I cut a bit of the stem you don't cut too much because you want that bit of stem as well inside I don't know what I call it I think I call it stick sometimes you want a bit of the green stick inside your effort you see that bit yeah 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 you want it in your effort so I cut it to about a medium size I don't know if there's a real measurement to cut in effort but that's the size of me I basically do I don't want it too small I don't want it too big I ain't got time to be cutting small ones so and i think that's the right amount of size so i take the effort and i put it in the bowl sorry i keep on saying effort i miss spinach pardon me please so i repeat this process till i'm done cutting the spinach so the next step is to get my pepper ready and put it in the blender so with the red peppers i like to get rid of all the seed and i basically blend it and add a bit of water so i use the pulse motion because i'm trying to grate the pepper i am not literally blending all the way through there are times when i had to shake it you know what i mean because i ain't trying to add extra water to this already and i forgot to add onion so i added one medium onion So please do not burn yourself in this process. I had um, hot water to the effort and I literally leave this in for like roughly 20 to 30 seconds. And I take my spoon and I basically stir it. This process also helps to get rid of excess sand that might be there. So I put a bit of cold water just to make it look warm because guys, it's cold. And I'm not trying to squeeze out all this effort in cold water. So I like lukewarm water. So now I literally squeeze the living daylight out of this spinach. And in this process as well, like when you add the hot water, you're basically kind of making the spinach softer so you don't have to cook it for long because I am I don't like brown effort. There's I've seen some before and they're looking brown. Excuse me, what do you call that? So I squeeze I squeeze out the excess water and I put it in my sieve, but eventually I put it on a plate so that I can you know get my other effort. Be careful because sometimes there might be sand at the bottom as well. I had my palm oil to the saucepan and I leave that to fry roughly for about like a minute and a half on the medium heat and now I'm basically gonna add my pepper and this is the sound that you want to hear when you're adding your pepper exactly that sound 
so i leave this to basically fry now i've increased the heat to about really high to be honest so i had all my seasoning you don't have to follow the exact order that i did but as long as you had all your dry seasoning except from the iru because you still need to do something with that iru so you had all your dry seasoning and then you basically you stir it because you know you gotta stir it so so to the iru now turn on your tap your hot water tap and you basically cleanse your iru because sometimes what i've noticed in the past from iru is that there's sometimes some residue in your iru so you, it's good for you to cleanse it because sometimes it sometimes carries sand or some kind of residue and as i said you don't want to be chewing and beating sand and guys don't pour your water away please the water is delicious thank you very much so i had the iru to the sauce as you can see i am very i'm cooking on a high heat because i was trying to cook really fast this day i ain't gonna lie to you but the high heat because it helps to basically reduce the water as you can see the level from where we started is a bit different as so some of the water has been you know reducing I, I like to just fry it because i just think it gives the best effect so you had your water i don't add all because as i said residue at the bottom and then you stir it in so these are the bits that i prefer to use um chopped goat meat beef and cow skin you can add whatever you want it for you can add fish you can have bokoto you can add whatever you want so i stir it in and i think i added a bit more cow skin so i leave that to fry on a very high heat every two minutes i come to just check because i don't want it to start burning or start sticking to the saucepan so i tend to stir it like every two minutes or so so now we're done <laughs> this sauce is looking yummy you can even have this sauce on this one when you if you like so i added the spinach to it as i said i am not going to cook the spinach i'm literally going to add it stir it boom bam period we're done cooking Oof, look at that, man. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry, and I'm gonna lie to you. This is the final product. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. As I said, just in case you're not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell so you can get a notification whenever I do post. And just in case you actually do cook this meal, please tag Bands Aroma on Instagram and i really and i will repost your post thank you very much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it and see you in the next one bye